Hello Harris County Deputies, I'm James Nicholas with XDHS 2000 and today we're going to teach you about the uh, Springfield Armory XD and the uh, striker retainer pin. The little roll pin that's on the top of the slide. Basically that roll pin is there to keep the striker from hitting the back of the breech face and sticking out of the chamber when it doesn't need to. Today what we're going to do is we're going to purposely break one and actually see if the pistol will still run without that critical part. So let's go ahead and take the slide off. Matt, if you want to come over here. All right, I'm going to do this the worst possible way. Keep it all together, the spring tension under here. And what we are going to do is take that roll pin and pound it out. There's your roll pin. And what we're going to do is pop it and let the striker slam forward. Uh, you never want to carry the gun this way if you don't have to. You always want to get it fixed. But in an emergency, if this were to happen to you out on the streets in the middle of your shift, uh, you would still be able to use this pistol in an emergency basis. So we'll go ahead and get this fixed. Let's go down range real quick. We just got a call of uh, bad guy paper plate down here. And we're going to go ahead and take care of them. Matt, if you want to come over on this side. All right. Now remember, this pistol no longer has the striker retainer pin in there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and load it up with 10 rounds. We're using a locking Safari Land ALS holster, similar to like you guys would use on duty. And now we have our paper plate. You're in the middle of your duty shift, and you have a broken roll pin in here. There's the bad guy. Drop the gun now! We were still able to use that pistol, even without that critical part in the gun. To keep going now, there we go again. Let's practice again. That's four shots with that broken roll pin. Eight shots. Nine, ten. With the broken roll pin. All right, we have our Springfield Armory XD 9mm, uh, and it has the broken roll pin on the top right here. Now, let's say if you were cleaning your pistol or doing an administrative check, and, and that's when the roll pin broke, so in between shifts, and all of a sudden you go to load it, and this is what would happen if that roll pin broke and you weren't actually shooting the pistol when it broke, but just hand manipulating the pistol. You'll get this weird lock, and it doesn't want to actually go back forward. You get that gap in there, and what's happening is that the roll pin is sticking out of the breech face. And it almost looks like it's stuck there. This pistol will let you know something is wrong with it before you go on shift. One, you have that weird jam. And two, if you were to try to load this pistol, even with a broken roll pin and the firing pin sticking out, it will not let you load it. We're going to take a live magazine. We're in there, and what I'm going to do is grip it from the front and try to come in close, Matt, and watch the round go up. Notice it gets stuck. It will not let you load it. But let's say this happened to you out on your shift. There's an easy way to fix this. Drop the old magazine. Take the slide. Slingshot it. Take a new magazine, insert the new one, rack your slide. And the pistol still works.